When I did research about Herod of Landsberg, who was responsible for and created the very first illustrated encyclopedia made by a woman, this as early as the 12th century, I found myself thinking, very surprisingly, that I most likely would have been a nun too at that time. And not for the obvious reason of having a genuine calling, because being a nun gave you a great deal of unexpected benefits. Being a woman during the Middle Ages, it was rough to say the least. You could be married off against your will. More than one in three women died during their childbearing years. And I believe the average life expectancy were about 30 years old. But for nuns, on the other hand, it was not uncommon they lived as long as 60, 70 and even 80 years old. Unsurprisingly, no education was available for girls or women, but there was one exception. Convents and nunneries provided the only source of education for women during the Middle Ages. So it is no coincidence that many of the earliest female intellectuals were nuns. We don't know why Herod became a nun, but she was no doubt a well-educated and intelligent woman because she created most likely together with her fellow sisters, some of them you might see on this painting, an illustrated encyclopedia. And I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but here I go. Quartus Deliciorum, which is Latin for the Garden of Delights. This is the first known encyclopedia made by a woman, and this as early as the 12th century. And this encyclopedia is filled with beautiful, vivid and colourful illustrations. And indeed, it must have been a delight to be a convent for a woman compared to the other options for women at the time. Not all was a delight though. This was Christianity and Catholicism after all. If you want to check out Herod's terrifying illustration of the hell, click on the link above. The Garden of Delights is really a product of a female mastermind and Herod herself confirms her authorship of the manuscript and intentions for it in her prologue. She's describing herself as a bee inspired by God and the text is flowers from sacred scriptures and philosophic writing. Herod dedicated the work to the women of her community with the hope that they will find pleasing food and spiritual refreshments in its honeyed dewdrops. And indeed, the purpose of the Garden Delight was to be an instructional tool for his young novices at the convent. The most famous portion of the manuscripts are its beautiful 336 illustrations, which symbolizes various themes. The illustrations show an artistic imagination, which is rare among Herod's contemporaries. You can imagine that if someone saw these colourful and vivid illustrations in the 12th century, it would have been like watching an action-packed film on Netflix for us. Herod is definitely seen as a pioneer of women. She possessed great artistic ability, thought and leadership. She made sure that the women under her care were trained and educated and she allowed them to develop their skills and knowledge in art, science and theology. Not only did she leave a remarkable and beautiful historical document for future generations, but she also set a high standard of accomplishment to which other women could aspire. What are your thoughts of Herod? Let us know in the comments below and please support us by subscribing and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any updates. <laughs>